CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thanks for being here tonight. Once again this evening, the provincial government is on the defensive over documents in a dumpster. The opposition wants to know more about a privacy breach that CTV News first told you about on Monday night. We showed you ministry documents containing personal information found in a dumpster in Saanich. Tonight, with the Privacy Commissioner and at least two other ministries investigating, the minister who is facing the questions in the House seems to think we're the problem. CTV Stephen Andrew has the latest. It is one week to the day since CTV News notified the government we had videotaped ministry documents with personal information tossed into a dumpster. One in, just make your way around to the back corner. And today, government officials arrive in our newsroom to see what we found. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Earlier, for a second day in a row, the opposition took the government to task over its handling of the privacy Mr. breach. Speaker, Unlike the ministry staff, this morning I took the opportunity to view the actual footage of the dumpster documents. Mary Pollack suggested to the House CTV News was delaying the investigation, claiming we withheld information. And we would hope that if the media are in possession of information that would assist us in investigating this breach, that they would provide it. Unlike the member, the ministry has not been afforded the opportunity to view the film outside of making it part of a filming opportunity for the reporter. The delay has been in your staff coming in, not in us making this available. When we have told your communications staff time and time again, and we told you yesterday that we are more than willing to have your staff come in and view the raw tape. What do you say now? Uh, Stephen, unfortunately, there is one part of that story that you have omitted, and that is that there was a requirement placed based on those ministry officials who would go and view the documentation in the film, that they would be filmed as they were doing it. And I am advised that we have made it clear from the beginning um, that that is not something we feel would be appropriate given the nature of the materials and given the role of the staff. This afternoon, government officials were in our newsroom at our earlier invitation viewing the video. It contains shots of applications for assistance, government printouts, check requisitions with names, addresses, personal health and social insurance numbers, birth dates, and details of checks paid to ministry clients. CTV News has not broadcast any of the personal information. Saanich police, who were made aware of the documents by CTV News, say the material was tossed into the dumpster by a former government employee. The Privacy Commissioner's office will not comment into its investigation into the breach. British Columbians, British Columbians have a right to expect that public bodies such as health authorities and ministries protect their personal information using reasonable security. Meantime, government officials now appear satisfied they have what they need to proceed with their investigation. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more on the story. Stephen, uh, before we carry on, I think it's important that our viewers understand that our policy is that we do not make our news gathering material available for viewing by outside agencies. However, in matters of safety or public interest, we are willing to make an exception, as we did in this case. As for videotaping that, we work in a visual medium, and that is how we keep a record of events. And the officials who were here today, we should point out, did not seem to object to the fact that we had cameras mm -hmm. uh, in the area while they were watching the tape. Uh, now that the officials have had a look at what they say they needed to see, where does the investigation go from here? Well, presumably the government says that they believe that we have some information in our possession that they didn't have in those documents. So I think what's going to happen now is they're going to compare the information today from those videotapes against the information that they already had. If there are indeed any names of individuals whose privacy may have been breached, they're going to get on contacting those individuals immediately as this will work for it and the Information and Privacy Commissioner will investigate why those documents were in that dumpster in the first place. And we should mention, Hudson, one of the issues that really has been very frustrating for us has been trying to get some straight answers out of the government over the past couple of days. We cooperated them from day one on exactly what we had. They knew they had a privacy breach as early as Friday, but they didn't admit that to us until Monday. So it's been a, a very, very frustrating week for us to try and tell this story. It's worth pointing out as well that we have gone to great lengths to ensure that we have not broadcast any of the material, which would be a breach of individuals' privacy uh, in those documents. Absolutely. I mean, it'd be, it would destroy the very reason that we're doing the story in the first place. All right. Stephen Andrew reporting. Stephen, thanks. You're welcome.